snowing up the mountains where I am, it's bloody freezing, it's bloody freezing cold. Okay, got to entertain myself, here we go, look at this, look what that is, look, toasting fork, number two, some bloody bread, number three, bloody good fire, here we go, get the bread, stick it on the toasting fork, like that, tongs through a bit so it doesn't drop off, Pointed at the red coals, not the flames. That fire's not perfect. We'll give it a bit of a poke. <laughs> because the flames don't cook your toast. The uh, coals cook your toast. So you've got to have a good, good vision of the coals. There you go. You see that spot there? Heaps of coals. And you don't want it too close or else you just set fire to a toast. Now this is mainly, look at that. If you like it like that, sit down and tie. <laughs> That's alright, some people just like it. As I call it, held in front of a match. Very light brown. I don't like that, but it's up to them, it's up to you. While I'm filming this, um, that toasting fork is as easy as hell to make. It's something kids can do, make a toasting fork. And you'll have it for years. And they'll remember you because you've taught them how to make it. Look out, I've been talking too much. See arm again, black, black toast. Somebody told me on the video, I asked a uh, question, how do you get rid of a smoke from the fireplace coming out and, uh, you know, it obviously comes out and gets around your cabin. Um, somebody said, burn some toast. I said, oh, wise trick, burn some toast and that gets rid of the uh, smoky smell from the cabin. Some people love a smoky smell, some people don't. Um, I don't mind it, but uh, you do get a smoky smell. I think humans lived around smoke for, since they were monkeys, you know. There you go. Look at that. Nice piece of brown toast. Homemade toasting fork that the kids can make. I don't need to do a, I don't need to do a, a YouTube on how to make a toasting fork out of a bit of old wire. Pretty easy, you just plait it like you plait the girls here. There's the end of it. There's the pointy end. There's the handle end. Now scientifically, why don't you have a bit of steel rod or something? You know, more, 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 more engineering. The reason for the woven wire is very simple. It dissipates the heat. The heat won't run up the handle and you don't have to have a wooden handle and all that sort of stuff. You just plait it out of a bit of wire. It works forever. The old people taught me this and they just hang around forever these toasting forks and everybody can use them hey and if you want to change the angle of it you want to put it down do a bit of an angle like that <laughs> that's all easy that's all great right anyway so as we toast now number two something the old people didn't teach me stainless steel bowl from a two dollar shop piece of old piece of uh Little piece of tree branch, saw it off, and stick a self tapper in it. Stick a you know, hex head uh, self drilling screw. What's that thing? That's to keep your toast warm. You stuck it on the hot plate like that, put that there, and your toast warm while you do the next one and the next one. Or just use it on the lid on your fry pan or whatever like that. Okay, that's it, guys. Guess what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm staying warm, it's snowing outside nearly. Got a nice glass of red wine. Not the best red wine, it's cheap red wine, but it's alright. It's pretty good. From Aldi's, the best place to buy wine. Okay, cup of tea before I go to bed. Piece of toast in a minute with butter and Vegemite, because I'm an Aussie. Got the fire extinguishers there in case the hut catches fire. And I've got a drying rack up there. Oh, those racks you get from the, uh, I don't know where you get them, like the chefs have them. I just put all my things that need to be dried up there, like my gloves. Oh, these things, what's these things? They're not ears, they're not anything weird, they're mushrooms. They're uh, dried mushrooms, feel, not field mushrooms, they're, uh, let me think of the name of them, um, pine mushrooms. Okay, thread them on a bit of wool and just hang them above your fire and you can break them up, put them in a freezer bag 
and you've got just chuck them in a stew whenever you want it. They're very tasty, very chewy. You can even nibble on them. I've also used them just as an after meal snack sometimes, just nibble on them. Dried, dried pine mushrooms. Simple, easy, quick. I love simple, easy, quick. <laughs> and I love free. Okay, see you guys. Have a good time wherever you are. This is Wallace. Wallace signing out over here from Australia, up in the mountains where it's freezing cold. I'm going to sit back and have a nice glass of wine and listen to some music. Catches, it's a simple life. Cheers.